All right, so the new five-star character Zora has finally been released. And with her, her event also has come with it, the Bloody Hunt. So we're going to go ahead and check it out. We're going to run through the event together and see what this, this is all about. And they always usually have like a very unique music here. And it sounds pretty good, man. It sounds like kind of like a, a retro wave kind of a song. But yeah, Dislike's music is always good. Um, there's some new mechanics here for this event. We have commission. Basically what this is, is that when you complete these, you'll get these merit levels. And the more you level this up right now, we're merit level one. You'll get these points, which will help you uh, level up your merit level. Once your merit level uh, levels up, you'll be able to um, earn more re AFK rewards. So you get these passively and then you come over here and click uh, claim rewards and you collect whatever you have uh, gathered up passively over time, right? And then we also got the boost where uh, basically you get these uh, boost crystals and you get the boost crystals from uh, doing the uh, commissions, right? Over here passively, you get boost crystals from that. And then you can use the boost crystals to go ahead and give yourself a power boost. As you can see down here, the very first one it says gain 50% crit rate. If crit rate is maxed out, it converts it to crit damage. So yeah, after you finish leveling this node all the way to three, because you need to get it to three before you move on to the next one, um you can go move on to the next one that you feel will benefit you most right so they have all these other nodes and uh yeah right now we just did the most basic one then the event shop you have aurelius right you have the new four star i'm gonna buy him first next i would go for the records uh gold and flow then i would go for the epic abilamon then i would get the uh epic star mon then we have something called story voucher used to unlock past unread event stories and atlas I don't know what this is for exactly, but yeah, it'll probably be one of the last things I buy. And then relic bonuses, um, and yeah. And then they have this new box here, a box of surprises, may grant relic, essence, nexus crystals, advanced, lead waves, rare star mons, or gold. And then I would finish out the shop by buying this up because it seems like it can come with a lot of good stuff. It's just random. So let's jump right into her event, the Simmering Crisis. But before we continue, I'd appreciate it if you guys subscribe to the channel. Also, like the video if you like the video. And share this around. The Haze of Doubt. Okay, you can also get um, boost crystals through the event. And obviously, you'll get the uh, uh, currency. Okay, so we're actually able to use Zora here. And uh, let's check her out. I want to use her ult ability just so we can see her follow up with her first ability. Here's her uh, animations. And there's her uh, follow-up ability, which is AOE. Uh, and puts buff blocker on them too, so that's really nice. Damn, she actually took a good amount of damage. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and go for the heal. Boom. We got the heal, and that's over with. So we actually get to use her at level 60. What do we have? We have no gear on her, but all her, um, all her abilities are fully maxed out. And she does have some stat boosts, right? So we'll just uh, put put uh, our T as our speed lead so we can uh, go first. Okay, there's there's her skill two, and she also has a chance of, and she also has a chance of following up with her skill one, which is very nice. Damn. These guys are actually pretty tanky. Okay. All right, they're actually able to take some damage pretty well. Okay, do some S1. That's a pretty good heal she gets on her uh, skill one, to be honest. The more people, the more heal she gets. That's why I feel like building her bruisey, bruiser might be the best way to go so you can stay above that threshold longer. So you can keep, um, so you can keep autoing, you know? nice pretty good so we got the other uh, rewards for this um there is two parts to this event so yeah go here okay so we actually get to use the sure dragon here so we're gonna use our ultimate here we all follow up with our s1 put disease and buff blocker now the way he works is the uh the more debuffs the the enemy has the more damage he does so I kind of want to use his ultimate right here, but I want to do it when he's stealth to, to do the maximum damage. 
But she's gonna kill them all, so... You know what, let's let's go into stealth for the next turn. For the next wave. I wonder if we stay in uh, stealth for the next wave. So AoE with the alts. I mean... It, so let's use her skill, her skill too. Put speed buff on us. And do the AoE. Alright, so he's not in stealth, so but he they do have a debuff, right? Um, he does he goes into stealth at, at the end of this turn, so let's go ahead and use this. Quake before the dragon. Pretty cool, pretty cool ability, honestly. It looks looks good. It honestly feels good too. We're just gonna alt here. Man, the follow-up attacks are crazy on Tora. Okay, we're at number five. Okay, so we have our Dahlia. So we're gonna push, attack, crit. We should just all scoop. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, just do a regular attack here. Then we're going to try to freeze. Guess not. Oh, uh, this should kill everybody, right? That's skill one damage. It it's pretty hard. Um, we're gonna go ahead and try to freeze this guy. Nope. Put speed up and proc our S1. Pretty sweet. Now they don't have debuffs, right? But I am gonna I have a chance of going into stealth here. You see, AoE abilities does not take him out of stealth. So he's good. Now we're gonna do alt. Put um maximum debuffs on them this guy has damn they both have one i wanted to see the damage go for this kill and we're gonna s1 i guess it just kills everyone yep and the heal we have a 50 percent chance of proccing s1 but we didn't need it he's gone and then we get the raid right we got three difficulties let's see how we do Okay, now we got the hardest difficulty. We got it difficulty three. We'll keep it on auto. Smooth sailing for now. All right. Wait, I'm not sure if this is the last. Um, is this the farm stage? I'm not sure. But we are smooth sailing pretty well here. Um, the buff blocker is really good. I think it's a very important ability. Um, because buffing in this game is very, very strong. And uh, just having that ability to nullify a character and not to be able to put that, that on is really good. Like, it's very powerful. And here she follows up with her S1. It's guaranteed for her to follow up with her skill 1. As long as she's above 50%. Yeah, there, there would have to be some test builds and stuff for people to do um, to see what what's more optimal for her to build her in straight up attack or keep her as um, a bruiser. I'm leaning towards bruiser, but who knows? So this is the stage you can farm so you can get a bunch of stuff. And then you can come here and collect your commissions, right? We do have boosts too, so we're going to go ahead and juice that up. And you got to click on these things to gain them. I forgot to say. So make sure you click on them so you can collect them. And uh, it'll make your merit level go up. So just keep clicking on them. And remember, the higher your merit levels, the better the passive rewards you get. And stage two is open. Okay, so we're just going to go right into stage two. So we got another raid. Okay, so we got four, five, and six. This is the hardest one. Let's see how we do this on auto. Let's see, hopefully it's not too hard. Them having a performance boost makes it seem like it might be a little bit hard. Don't know yet. Good three-man stun. So far, we're just controlling. Okay. Want to see if we can run this efficiently on auto so we can run the stage... Leave it on auto in the background. Okay, nice. I think all our all our, all our abilities came off cooldown too, so that's really good. Yep, yep, yep. 
Nice. That's, that's big. We got defense down on most of them. Big damage. Oof. Oh my god, those guys hurt. Okay, she's gonna go ahead and heal up here off her S1. If she doesn't kill off. Yep, there's the heal. Massive heal. Good freeze. More heals. Okay. Push up. Push back. Okay, we should be able to take this guy out here. That's it right there. Nice. We got some HP too. And let's see if we're able to auto this stage. Let's see if we're able to control them. Good stun. With the speed down on everyone. Defense down on everyone. Oh my god. Oof. Huge damage. More stuns. More control. Okay. Wow, that guy had so many debuffs on him. Good attack. Oh my god. They hit hard. That one guy just hit us. If the guy in the back hits us, it's over. I'm pretty sure it's over if he hits us. Oh! Good heal. Oh, we should be able to have this. Okay. This attack. Good freeze. This sh we should have this. Follow up. Okay. Good pushbacks. And then, yeah, we do have it. Woo! And there you have it. The full first two chapter event clear. You're going to want to farm this up. So you can uh, get as much currency as you can. So you can buy some stuff. Let's see if another chapter opens up. Okay, so the last chapter is chapter three. And it opens up after six days. Remember to come here and collect your uh, merit. So you can get max passive rewards as, po as much as possible. And um, should leave you at level four, right? For when for your first clear of everything. Um, but yeah, um, if you're having trouble clearing it. Uh, make sure you're collecting your passive rewards so you can go ahead and use your uh, boost stones um, on this thing and it'll help you clear the uh, the stages a lot more efficient. But um, that's it for this uh, video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will be doing a showcase video on Xiao Yin. But yeah, that's about it. It's your boy Jada. I'm out. Peace.